CNN released a video detailing all of Trump's lies during the debate last night, and it was a lot. Trump said almost the exact same thing for every question, and it was pretty much all lies. If you watched it live, you understand just how frustrating it was. But here's the thing, we all knew that Trump was going to be lying all night, but the most frustrating thing about the debate was not the lies themselves, it was the fact that CNN did nothing to stop it and just let it keep going. When CNN released this video of Trump's lies, which I'll go over in a second, people on Twitter were ripping them to shreds. Let's read some of those tweets because they're kind of funny. Wow, what a great idea. This would have been nice during, oh, I don't know, the effing debate? I mean, real-time fact-checking would have been nice. You can't unring a bell, and the people that watch the debate won't be looking at this late fact-check. Yeah, an hour too late. Hours after the debate, too late. CNN gave Trump a fascist platform to campaign with full of lies. Daniel Dale live tweeted fact checks during, should have been shown during on air. If only they had fact checked him during the debate. I hope that the remaining ABC News debate corrects this mistake. The media needs to stop giving a platform to a habitual liar if they are not going to fact check him. A little late, they should have called out his lies during the debate. Too little, too late. Where was this during the debate? Should have happened real time. About two hours too late. Imagine if every one of these had been called out in real time. Thanks, CNN. Great job tonight. Psych, they should be ashamed of themselves. Hiring Tucker Carlson would have been less destructive to democracy. Why didn't they call him on those obvious lies from the start? Literally lied the whole debate. Any debate where one candidate is allowed to lie incessantly and rewrite history is not really a debate, but an infomercial designed to manipulate the American public. After the fact, useless as it doesn't stop the lie. When are we going to learn and get better at this so when the lie is announced, it's immediately called out? Use technology for God's sake. About three hours too late. Dear mainstream media, if someone says it's raining, and another person says it's dry, it's not your job to quote them both. Your job is to look out the effing window and find out which is true. So yeah, it's very clear that people are not happy with CNN right now. Now before we show the clip of Trump being fact checked, let's go ahead and check out Biden's clip because this really gives us a clear picture of the difference between the two candidates. The sum of them, he said, he's the only president in a while who didn't have any troops dying anywhere in the world. Troops have, of course, died on his watch. He said he's put in a $15 per shot cap on insulin and Medicare. It's a $35 a month cap. He said it's a $200 cap on overall drug spending in Medicare. It's $2,000 a year. He said the border now has fewer crossings than when Trump was in office. That's generally not true. He said or at least strongly suggested unemployment was at 15% when he took office. It was actually 6.4. He said Trump's wa Trump wants to get rid of Social Security. Trump doesn't. He said billionaires pay 8.2% in taxes. It's much higher. He said Trump told Americans to inject bleach amid COVID. We know Trump made foolish comments about scientists studying disinfectant injection, but didn't frame it as advice to people. And Biden said the Border Patrol endorsed him. No, its union supported the border bill he'd supported, never endorsed him himself. On that list, there were nine total fact checks for Biden. That's it. Only nine. And this tweet really sums up how light of fact checks these really were. Nine total. Four of them were up for interpretation at worst. Three were just clearly wrong numbers, and two were full-on false. So yeah, really, Biden wasn't lying. He, he, he more of just had some slip-ups. That's, that's really the biggest thing that we can account this to. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at the Trump fact check, and you'll see just how bad it is. The Trump list, it is way, way longer. So deep breath. He said some Democratic states allow people to execute babies after birth, an egregious lie that is illegal in every state. He said everybody, even Democrats, wanted Roe v. Wade overturned. Roe was supported by two-thirds of Americans, even more Democrats. He said every legal scholar wanted Roe overturned, abortion returned to the states. Legal scholars have told me directly this is not true. He said the U.S. currently has the biggest budget deficit ever. No, that happened under Trump in 2020. He said the U.S. currently has a record trade deficit with China. That also happened under Trump in 2018. He said Biden personally gets a lot of money from China. Zero evidence of this. He said there were no terror attacks during his presidency. In fact, there were multiple attacks. He said Iran didn't fund Hamas, Hezbollah, other terror groups under his presidency. Iran, in fact, did. He said Biden wants to quadruple people's taxes. That is pure fiction. He said the U.S. has provided way more aid to Ukraine than Europe had. It's actually the opposite. He said the U.S. Provi pr has provided about 200 billion in Ukraine aid. It's closer to 110 billion. Uh, he said 18 or 19 million people have crossed the border under Biden. That is millions too high. He said many of these migrants are from prisons or mental institutions. His own campaign cannot corroborate this. He said Biden has only created jobs for
for illegal immigrants. Total nonsense. He said Nancy Pelosi turned down his offer of 10,000 National Guard troops on January 6th. There's no evidence she even got such an offer. It was the president, not Pelosi, who had the power to deploy the D.C. Guard. He said Pelosi now acknowledges she turned down the troops. No, her office tell me, tells me this claim is still a lie. He said he deployed the National Guard to Minneapolis in 2020. Actually, that was the Democratic governor. He spoke of, quote, ridiculous fraud in the 2020 election. Zero evidence of any widespread fraud. He said NATO was going out of business before he took office. Completely, clearly absurd. He said the U.S. was paying 100 percent of NATO before he came along. The U.S. made up about 71 percent of NATO defense spending, not 100. He said he, not Biden, is the one who lowered insulin prices in Medicare. He did it for some seniors, but Biden did it for far more. He said Biden indicted him. Again, no evidence Biden has had a personal role in any of these four prosecutions. He said Europe takes no U.S. cars. Just not true. He spoke of food prices quadrupling under Biden. That's a wild exaggeration, though they are up. He said Biden made up the idea he called dead service members suckers and losers. No, the Atlantic magazine reported that, and then former Trump chief of staff John Kelly corroborated it. He said Biden called black people, quote, super predators for 10 years. Biden never once deployed that phrase, let alone for 10 years, though he did at least once speak of, quote, predators without specifying it was about black people. He said his Trump tax cut was the largest in U.S. history. Not true, though, in fairness, Biden, Biden also said this. Uh, Trump said China and others stopped buying from Iran under him. China never stopped. He revived his pet lie. I don't know how many times I've done it, that he signed the Veterans Choice Program into law. Barack Obama did that in 2014. Trump signed an expanded version in 2018. And finally, Trump said Biden got rid of that veterans program. Biden has not done that. So in case you weren't counting, and I'm not blaming you, it was quite long, there were 28 fact checks on that list. Donald Trump had almost 30 fact checks, while Biden had almost 10. That means Trump lied at a rate of three times more than Biden did during that whole debate. But like I said, the stuff that Biden was saying was more of just slip-ups than actual lies. And the severity of the lies told by Trump were way worse than Biden's overall. So really, Trump just was clearly lying through the whole debate while Biden had a few slip-ups here and there. It's insane to me that a majority of people think that Trump won the debate last night just because he, you know, talked a little better and was confident. If someone cheated in a game and won, would we still call them a winner if they cheated in the game? Trump lied all night last night and still came across as the winner to a lot of people. And what's worse is that Trump pretty much repeated the exact same talking points for almost every question he was asked. So just because there were 28 individual lies does that mean that he only lied 28 times he said the exact same lies multiple times so really his lie counter is way up ABC needs to be taking a lot of notes and really needs to fact check them in the next debate because Trump supporters will just believe anything that comes out of Trump's mouth especially if it's not fact checked live during the debate